International Journal of Health Policy and Management Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Bautissen and colleagues criticize bodies like the World Health Organization for using cost effectiveness as the sole criteria to guide decision making in low middle income countries and ignoring local value laden political economy of priority setting. We agree but for slightly different reasons. We think that the use of cost effectiveness itself is not the problem, but the bigger problem is that they are often global evidence being used and such global guidelines and analyses are limited in the extent to which they consider the local context, the, co the context relevant to countries, not only in terms of political economy, but in terms of local costs budgetary constraints and other capacity constraints like human resources. Now, is the answer more evidence-informed deliberative processes and not only more of them some cost-effectiveness, as Boughton and colleagues argue? But well, we think evidence-informed deliberative processes can only be part of the answer. It's no good having very robust and consultative processes if countries don't have relevant local contextualized evidence to deliberate on and we can't emphasize enough the importance of cost effectiveness when middle income countries in particular are facing a real challenge in their transition towards universal health coverage and my, a transition from uh, global funding in their drive towards UHC populations are become, becoming wealthier they're facing growing NCD burdens but they're also demanding increasingly expensive technologies, sometimes not cost effective. And these misaligned incentives, meaning overuse of inappropriate treatments and diagnostics, can accentuate the problem. Now, health ministries in such countries face a real capacity challenge in deciding what is and what isn't good value for money. And in fact, very few LMICs are systematically using cost-effectiveness evidence at all. So to downplay the value of cost-effectiveness analysis, or health technology assessment for that matter, would represent a significant lost opportunity to help countries achieve and sustain universal health coverage. The fact that low middle income country governments ranging China, Vietnam, India, Indonesia, South Africa, among others, have approached us, the International Decision Support Initiative, IDSI for support to help them develop health technology assessment institutions speak volumes to us about where the need in LMICs truly lie. And what is HTA if not an evidence informed deliberative process to bring together cost effectiveness evidence alongside in combination with other relevant and contextualized sources of evidence such as equity and social values. And don't forget the deliberative processes themselves has to be localized and fit for purpose too. And it's not for us as international development partners to say the way we engage patients and the public in England is relevant or necessary fit for purpose for Thailand or South Africa. And that's what we hope to achieve through IDSI, to help countries build the institutional and technical capacities in order to generate use and demand local health technology assessment evidence, whether epidemiological evidence, clinical effectiveness evidence, cost effectiveness evidence, as well as, and importantly, social value judgments and other forms of evidence. And also to inform the deliberative process itself, how, for example, you could run a citizens council in a particular country. So to sum up, we do need more deliberative processes and more cost effectiveness evidence that's relevant for the local context for each country. And as global development partners, our role, we think, should be to help governments and communities figure out what kind of processes and evidence they want and they need 
what kind of networks they need to build, what kind of capacities they need to build in order to achieve their aspirations for universal health coverage. Thank you.